Hello, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech, where we talk about tech, where Grandpa talks geek, and all the kind of stuff. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a second M2 drive, SSD drive, on your Acer Spin 3 model SP314, and I'm open it and break it down. So, stay tuned, and don't forget to like and sh share and subscribe. No. Oh. Once you start, you're going to have to remove screws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You'll need to have a very small, a number, possibly at number 2, I use a number 2 screwdriver to get it open. Now, you want to, obviously you don't want to scratch and you don't want to break it. Uh, the first thing, of course, you want to do after you've taken the screws out is to remove the stylus. And put that in a safe place. That's a rechargeable stylus that comes with it. And right in here is usually where I find you can get them the best. And sometimes you can't. Or you could start in here. A very, very fine screwdriver. Or you could use a... They call them opening tools. See, this is actually designed for this. For opening laptops, cell phones. And you're going to very gently move along the edges. As not to scratch them or break it. Once you get the basic opening open, uh, so again, some people do it one way, some people do it another. I've actually seen some people use a dental tools to open these. And you can see these are really, really good also. They can get right onto here and pry the cover off now the one thing I will tell you right now just take your time take your time one of the worst things you can do is scratch it or, or try to force it okay and we've taken it off Now you have your 51 inch, 51 inch, 51 watt battery, and this is the primary SSD that's come with it. But again, like I said, there's a secondary here. So what we need to do before we even begin anything, and you always want to do this with any of these machines, is that you want to remove the battery. Or actually, just unplug it. So there's a screw here holding it on. Now the one I use for the cover does not work for this. So I'll have to use a different one. There is one screw on the left. Now, over here you're going to find a cover which which is a double holding the battery in place. Now, of course, once you've unplugged this battery, just remember that you're going to have to and plug it back in again when you restart. You're going to have to reset your clock. Again, everything you do when you're in here, 
Just take your time. By the way, if I don't know if you saw the light, <laughs> kind of told you. Okay. There we go. Now, as I, you can see, you have a large cooling fan. You have your SSD from the original. Now, you could upgrade this, and there, I left a, I have a video out on how to replace this. But we're not going to do that. We're going to replace, we're going to add another SSD right here. All right, so let me go get that. Now, the one thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to order a small screw for the laptop. It does not come with one in this slot. Now, in my particular case, you may notice the key. This particular one can work in either operation so it will work in this particular situation um, now these screws are so 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 tiny so be aware when you're putting them back in that you hold on to the screw because it will not it it will fly off on you and I've made the mistake in the past of not holding on to the SSD and allowing it to pop up with that screw in there and it took off and it was gone. Uh, I think you could probably find these screws on eBay. Okay. Now, of course, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put back... battery again like I said everything you do on these take your time the worst thing you can do is force this in get it in the wrong place and then watch what ha then have you blow the machine All right, then put your tape back on. All right. And then just put your cover back on and snap lock it in and put the screws apart. We'll talk about this in a second. Now, just finishing up, uh, this, in some cases, in some cases, you're going to have to go in and uh, go into computer management and have it detect the new drive. My, in my case, the drive that I had was from another unit that I pulled out, and I decided to just add a little bit more storage space when I'm on the road, because anything big, I use a USB external drive. But... As you can see, the unit is showing the secondary drive. In this case, it was only 128 gigabyte um, SSD drive. But for this purpose, it was to show you how to install the second drive. Obviously, you can either install a larger drive, a terabyte 512 drive, or if you watch any of the videos, you can replace the other one and copy the data off by cloning. All right. Uh, let me get finished. So that's not very, very simple to do. You just have to remove the screws. You'll need a, a small screwdriver set. You know, I recommend a plastic, or a use of a guitar pick, a plastic piece. Uh, you can use a very, very fine screwdriver, but the chances of scratching the case are very high if you do that. Uh, once you remove that, it's very simple to do it. Uh, be very aware, at, and I pointed it out, where the key is on your M2. Some of them, the key is on the left, some of them, the key is on the right, and some of them have dual keys. So you'll need to be very careful. Um, you 
can see it in the picture how it's done. Um, and I have a video in my list of the M or the B or the M plus B. And I believe this was a B M2 drive that had to go into it. So again, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech Out, and you have a great day.